Uh, my name is Fahim Stellenboom and I'm the marketing manager at the Baxter Theatre, a position that I've held for 17 years. So as a kid, my parents were very, very encouraging. Always, always encouraging. We used to, on a Sunday night, watch opera on television as a rule. Uh, we used to watch Pavarotti give master classes uh, to young singers. So we kind of covered a broad range of the arts. And it came because my mom grew up in District 6 in the dark days of apartheid where um, the thing that was going to happen to you began to end up being a, a housewife to some good husband. And that was it. And she had visions of becoming a piano player. And when that dream wasn't possible, she invested in her children um, and she sent us to do whatever creative um, do, uh, form that we wanted to do. And it ended up with me at 14 starting to study um, flamenco, Spanish dance, with a school called the Bourbon School of Dance. Um, and it was incredible because it, it, it gave me a sense of focus. I was a very... Um, all over the, you know, my, my, my school reports always still said Fahim needs to focus, and, you know, etc. And so, so that was something that certainly helped along the way. So it's interesting because I don't understand the question about why should people go to theatre or why people should support the arts. It's fundamental to our very existence as human beings. We are not just body and, and that's it. We are mind, body, soul. We are made up of various components and the art is something that, that traverses the, the, the creative, um, it goes into the collective, it goes into the physical and it certainly goes into the brain. So it's the one uh, art form that takes care of all the aspects of our, of, a, of our human being. As I said, mind, body and soul uh, the arts is, is the one thing and theatre is the one thing that goes straight to all three of those things. So it means that we are, we are dealing with a, a portfolio that, that deals with the holistic and overall development of our children and of ourselves as human beings. And that is what the power of theatre and the arts can be. The one thing that you also get out of the art and, and that you get out of, out of theatre is, is that kids learn a wonderful sense of belonging, that they are not on their own, that they are part of a, of a, of a collective, they are part of a group, they are part of a community. So there's a whole lot of, of, of sort of soft skills, but perhaps not that soft, that really helps a child to develop. It's that sort of sense of, of voice, it's a way that maybe brings earlier clarity, earlier vision, and earlier voice to our children and to young and to, and to teenagers. And I think that's important. It makes them discerning. It makes them being able to see and understand and view the world in a different way. And of course, uh, uh, tolerance, understanding, patience, forgiveness, hard work, all those qualities is what is required to do what, uh, to, to, to be in, in the world of the arts and theatre. Um, and those qualities are fundamental to our society today. If one looks at the, 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 the state of the world, we need to share, we need to understand, we need to be tolerant, we need to care. And those are skills um, that you learn and that you develop when you're in the world of theatre and the arts. So the exciting thing about theatre is that it ha there are so many, many options, that uh, career options. It's not always possible, you know, because again, there's limited staff, but you will have a producer, you have uh, front of house staff, those are ushers and, and managers who, who literally have to manage the front of house area when audiences come into, the, into our foyers. Uh, you have technical people, so you have the backstage crew, uh, you know, from building sets uh, to running lighting. Uh, there's lighting designers, there's um, the option of set designer, costume designers. Um, you know, those are all options that, that, that are, are there. Uh, and, and also just generally um, administration. You know, uh, again, when you work in a theatre and you do accounting, uh, whatever, it is a slightly different kind of space because we operate differently. But those are all options that are available to, to young people. And, you know, we're not, not everybody's going to be able to become an actor. But 
that's how you can contribute. As I said, with all the aforementioned um, backstage, technical is very, very important. Uh, you know, good writers really, I think, is, is fundamental. Um, and, and just generally, as I said, front of house, uh, producing, and again, producing is the administrative leader of the, of the process um, of anything. Um, and you know, whether you do it in theater or whether you move into film, those are all skills that can be applied um, across, the, across the board.